I'd like to present you here with some archival film of the Jewish Infantry Brigade of the British 8th Army, which was uh, taken uh, in the latter part of uh, 1944 and uh, during the war in 1945. And we can see the Jewish Brigade here in Italy. Now, the Jewish Brigade itself was formed somewhat late within the war, although ideas for having a brigade from Palestine actually started uh, quite early. Now, to go back a little bit in history, as the British had promised uh, Palestine to the Arabs and then to the Jews in the Balfour Declaration in 1917, and then decided to take the land themselves, it was a bit of a conflict of interests. Now, the Arab uh, population, uh, parts of it, uh, had broken out in revolt uh, against the British rule. This was put down by 1939. And uh, when Hein Weizmann, who was the president of the World Zionist Organization, suggested that uh, the Jewish community formed uh, some kind of unit, the British uh, authorities uh, agreed, but only on the grounds that there would be uh, one Arab for every one Jew, and even so, uh, that these people would only be able to serve in the Royal Army Service Corps and in the Pioneer Corps, which are effectively the Labour Battalions. Now, as far as the uh, Royal Army Service Corps was formed, there had been a, um, a muleteer, um, people who used mules, uh, unit during the First World War. Now, in view of what happened uh, during the uh, Holocaust, uh, and particularly after the deportations of Jewish people from Hungary to Auschwitz and other places and their murder in the uh, spring and early summer of 1944, it was clear that Winston Churchill felt that there had to be a Jewish unit. Now, this had been opposed by certain British officers, fearing that uh, if these people were given military training and they could then start using it against the mandate authorities in Palestine. So the um, decision was actually made on the 3rd of July 1944 and on the 20th of September 1944 an official community of the War Office they announced that there would be a Jewish brigade formed and um, that moved initially to Egypt and from there it went to uh, to Italy. It included more than 5,000 uh, people who were, came met not only from Palestine but also from uh, other places throughout Europe, many refugees, as well as one or two people uh, from uh, the UK as well, of course. I'll, we'll have a quick look at that in a moment. Now, it was under the leadership of Brigadier Ernest Benjamin and it was uh, it arrived uh, to take part in the Italian campaign under the 15th Army Group, and it uh, took part, part in the Spring Offensive of 1944, and uh, in, for example, the uh, sector of Alfonsin, and uh, engaged in combat, for example, the battles on 19th and 20th of March 1945 of the Senior River, and it fought against the German 4th Parachute Division, which was commanded by General Wellington Heinrich. Vietnam. 9th uh, of April, it crossed the river to establish the bridgehead, and uh, in 54 days of battle, uh, it lost uh, 100 uh, people, uh, casualties, 30 of whom were killed. Now, um, uh, one of the people uh, who actually uh, was a member of this was a Edmund of Rothschild, who was a captain and uh, he volunteered in the British Army throughout the war and in November 1944 he volunteered to actually join the uh, brigade and he actually wrote about uh, what actually happened to him. He was sent to Italy, landed at uh, Tivoli, promoted to major and he sort of instilled uh, the sort of British Army traditions and discipline in the men who were there. And uh, so he, 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 in his memoirs, he speaks that in the late 1940, February 45, they went up the Senior River line and then they uh, advanced in the way I've just sort of described. But I'll, I'll say one or two little things that he uh, sort of said about Passover. And uh, he said during the week of Passover that they didn't actually get bread, they got matzah and they got actually wine, which had been sent from Edmund de Rochelle's vineyard at Rishon Le Zion in Palestine. Now, um, 
after the war, he also recounts some rather uh, curious uh, things as well. So they um, went to um, Udine, which had been uh, liberated by New Zealand division, but there was lots of Serbians around. They had guns, and, and they also had the problem how to get rid of them because the, the border hadn't been decided. Clearly, Yugoslavia was going to advance into parts of Italy, but there was a, a rather a difficult situation between the two sides. And another thing which he actually uh, took part in, which uh, was the, uh, as we now know, the rather shameful um, transportation of those uh, Uzbek and soldiers who fought uh, on the German side and who Stalin had demanded to be uh, turned uh, turned back, turned over to the, the, the Soviets. And so he uh, describes, for example, there, there's a frontier with a humpback bridge, and so that would have been between the British and the uh, Austrian, uh, sorry, the British and the uh, Soviet zones in Austria, one with the, uh, the British uh, flag on the other side with the hammer and sickle. And um, they took the Uzbeks, and they could hear the sound of gunfire. I mean, in much later, of course, they learned that what was happening was that as soon as these people were... Uh, turned over to the Soviets, they were, they were prisoners of war, they were actually uh, shot. And uh, so that, that really, uh, like with many British soldiers, when they found out what had happened, that really haunted them, that uh, what, what they had actually uh, done. So, um, uh, it was also, again, um, uh, you know, a problem as well all the time with the, the relationship with Yugoslavia uh, and uh, Yugoslavian Serbs. Uh, and all the rest of them. Now, he had um, been part of what was called the P Battery, and uh, who had made a uh, flag, but they to make it either, uh, use the Union Jack, but they give it a Jewish twist by making it uh, blue and white, and they put P in the middle of it. I mean, I suppose the P of the Battery, but I suppose it could also be thought to mean Palestine as well. Now, um, he returned to the uh, UK um, in uh, 1946, uh, he went from uh, Tarvisio in northern Italy, and he also visited Birch's Garden, described how the looting that take, took place in Hitler's headquarters there, and uh, then he, he sort of travelled to uh, Mannheim uh, in Germany, and in Belgium he was involved in uh, anti-mine operations. So, he, uh, in May 1946, he was demobilised and returned to the UK.